hello everyone welcome to another video of my channel today we will be discussing about a new problem named maximum distance between a pair of values its lead code number is 1855 and it's a medium categorized problem so let's get straight to the problem description the problem says you're given a two non-increasing zero indexed integer arrays nums1 and nums2 that means we will be given two arrays which will be non-increasing that means they are sorted in a decreasing order now what it says that a pair of indices ij where i is in between the range of the length of the first array and same goes for j for the second array now we can call this pair valid if the i's value is less than or equal to that of j and the value at that index i in the first array is less than or equal to the value of the index j at the second array so in, in if such case happens then we can say that the indices i and j are valid and their distance will be termed as j minus i so if we have a look at here here this is 55 and this is 100 so here the value of i is 0 and j is also 0 and they are equal that means and the i's value is that means the value at that index is 55 which is less than the value at j index that means we can call this 0 0 a valid pair here and the distance between them is zero now what we will have to find out is find out the maximum distance between any valid pair if there are no valid pairs then we simply return zero now let's have a look at this example as we said this is a valid pair similarly all these are valid pairs that means they satisfy this given condition as you can see here the maximum distance is 2 that means 4 minus 2 is 2 this one this one now let's try to solve this problem what can be our approaches our first approach can be using a linear search how uh, for each element in this nums1 array what we are gonna do is we find out the valid pair okay we keep finding out so in this approach if we proceed what will happen at first we take 55 and for 55 we find out all the valid pairs for example we can say that yes uh, 0 0 is a valid index i 0 j 0 and here also the value at i is less than the value at j so this 0 0 is a valid pair and but for 55 none of the them none of the others are valid because all of them are less than 55 so we go to 30 and for 30 we start from 20 because we cannot start from 100 because the value of j here is 1 uh, sorry i here is 1 and j is 0 so in this way we keep approaching and every time we find a valid pair we find out the distance between them that means j minus i and keep the maximum distance in a variable so in this way we can get come to a solution but will this solution be optimal because as we can see for each el element in number one we have to go through almost n elements in nums2 array at most so for say if the uh, length of the num1 array is m and if the length of the num1 num2 array is n so our runtime will be big o of m into n this will give us time limit exception so we need to find out a better approach now the thing is that what can be a better approach let's think about the problem statement again we can see that both both of these arrays are sorted almost all of us know that if an array is sorted we can confidently implement binary search there because in a sorted array by using binary search we can find an element in logarithmic runtime that means if the length of the array is n then we can find a number using uh, log n time so similar approach for each element in nums1 array we will find out its valid pair using binary search or we can say that we try to find out its insertion point insertion point mean 
in which position in nums2 that number in nums1 could have been inserted so that all of the numbers right to it are less than it so what would have been our approach say for 55 what we are going to do is we find take two pointers let's say this is the left and this is the right then we find out the midpoint and we compare the value in this mid index with our number so if say here the number is greater than our mid index value so what we do we confidently say that this numbers insertion point would be somewhere left to this midpoint right so what we do we uh, take our right pointer to here mid minus one and similarly again we go to the same approach we follow the same approach so in this way for one element our search takes time say log n and for m elements our runtime will be big o of m log n yes this is a good approach we can proceed in this way but another thing to be noted can we make a better approach let's have a closer look here 55 is our first number and the insertion point of 55 in this nums2 will be somewhere like this in this position right now if we look for the insertion point of 30 so it will also be here in between this 55 and 20 right somewhere here similarly if we move further right say we want to find out the insertion point of 5 it will be here or here right so what can we say we can see that we for the more we move right the insertion point goes to the right it never comes to the left why this happens because both of these arrays are sorted in a decreasing order if we take the very first element that means it is the largest element in this array so it will definitely be positioned in some places the next element to it is already smaller than this one and in this array is also in a decreasing order so we can definitely say that the next element will be positioned somewhere right to the previous position of the greatest element so in this way we can see that in what happens in our binary search in our binary search we take two flags then discard one half of the array but here we can confidently say no need to divide your array and discard one half because we already know that the pointer will be somewhere right so what we can take instead of searching for instead of searching for each element using binary search we can take a single pointer for this nums2 array so our approach will be using two pointers let's take here a pointer i and here another pointer j and what happens we start comparing the values in this i and j index if the value at i index is already greater than that in j say this is 155 so what we do do we do nothing because this is not possible this breaks our given condition that the value in the nums1 must be less than or equal to the value in the nums2 so in that case we simply take change the position of i take the position of i to the next element because the value in i is already greater than the greatest one it will definitely be greater than the all other values so this is one condition that means if the ith indexed value is greater than the jth index value we do nothing we only increment the value of i what happens if the reverse thing happens here the ith indexed value is less than or equal to the jth index value so here it is less than so now our both condition satisfies that means the i and j is either equal or less the value of i is less than j and also the value at ith index is also less than the value of jth index so this gives us a valid pair in that case we simply uh, find out the distance and keep it a maximum distance or compare with the maximum distance and if such condition takes 
takes place after finding out the distance we simply increment the value of j because there is a chance that the value of ith index can be greater uh, less than the value of jth index there is a chance simply that's it so in this way we keep going and we go until either i or j comes to this end so in this way if we solve our problem it will give us a runtime of big o of m plus n where m is the length of the nums one and n is the length of the nums two so now we solve this problem in lead code using this two pointer approach and here it is also if we want to talk about the space complexity we do not need it we can solve this problem in constant space because we do not need any external data structure here we are with our problem and this is our solution we took three pointers one oh, one variable or point one variable is for the maximum distance and two variables for our two array so the i goes with the nums1 and j goes with the nums2 as we discussed if the ith indexed value is greater than that in the jth index value which uh, does not go with our given solution we simply increment the value of i otherwise we find out the distance between those valid pair and compare with the max distance and if it is greater than the max distance so it becomes our max distance and one thing to say every time we need to increment the value of j because if we increment the value of i only it becomes greater than j which breaks our another condition so in this way once any one of this comes to the end our array while loop breaks and we return our maximum distance value now let's submit this problem and see what happens so we got accepted so that's all for today thank you very much for your patience i hope you have understood this problem and our solution approach thank you very much guys happy coding